Thank you. 
honoured guests. Please rise and welcome the faculty of the Columbian College of Arts and Sciences. Graduates and honoured guests, please welcome the Dean of the Columbian College of Arts and Sciences, Paul Walbeck, Provost Bracey, and distinguished guests joined by this year's Luther Rice Fellows and the CCAS Distinguished Scholar, Philip Parell. Please be seated. Good afternoon, graduates and guests. I am Rachel Reedner, Associate Dean of Undergraduate Studies and Professor of Writing and Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies. On behalf of the Dean and the faculty of the Columbian College, I am delighted to welcome you to the celebration of our baccalaureate candidates in the 201st year of the George Washington University. 
We congratulate all our graduates and join with their, with their family and friends in celebration this weekend as we share our sincere pride in our graduates' achievements. At this time, I would like to invite the Provost of the George Washington University, Chris Bracey, to deliver opening remarks to the graduating class, faculty, and guests. Provost Bracey. Good afternoon to our families and friends, leadership, faculty, staff, and of course, our Columbian College of Arts and Sciences class of 2022. I am personally delighted and honored to be here for this celebration. Graduates, you are here today because you excelled with distinction in your studies through a very difficult period in modern history. There is no shame in taking pride in today's outcome of all of your hard work. In fact, I insist that you take pride in your achievements. Still, I ask that you keep something in mind. What truly matters is how the George Washington University graduates, which you become, apply expertise in their discipline and their experience beyond the university to help answer the call and address society's most difficult challenges. Your GW degree will benefit you for the rest of your life. But how will society benefit from your degree? The graduates here today span dozens of disciplines from A to W, from Africana studies to women, gender, and sexuality studies. These are, quite literally, endless ways for the world to be changed by the people sitting in this room. So how will you answer the call? Years ago, and I won't say how many, I had to ask myself the very same question. And I answered the call by choosing to receive a law degree and then honoring my expertise in constitutional law and civil rights and becoming an academic, an educator, a writer, and a teacher. I have contributed to the critical conversations of today, but more importantly, I've helped educate the next generation of lawyers. And now I also serve as provost, the chief academic officer at the George Washington University. Getting to engage all of the disciplines outside of the law is a privilege for me, and it's an incredible learning opportunity. I am, after all, a lifelong learner, just as each of you is a lifelong learner. Your path will continue, uh, and it will likely be different than mine, but you must always walk the path of continual learning, heading towards justice and the greater good. I look forward to seeing you all down on the National Mall tomorrow morning. Congratulations on becoming the George Washington Class of 2022 graduates. Thank you, Provost Bracey, for those inspiring words. And now I'd like to introduce this year's faculty speaker, Professor of Anthropology, Sarah Wagner. <laughs> who was nominated by our graduates to speak on this occasion. Professor Wagner is a social anthropologist who obtained her undergraduate degree from Dartmouth College and her PhD from Harvard University. She joined the GW faculty in 2012. Professor Wagner's research explores loss through the lens of memory, war and memory, prolonged mourning and uncertain death. 
Professor Wagner was nominated by students who joined her in organizing the In America, in America Remember flag installation memorial for American COVID deaths that appeared on the National Mall last year. As her students attest, Professor Wagner's words and insight have provided comfort and guidance as we seek to understand the world that we move through and the people we interact with every day. Professor Wagner. Thank you, Rachel, for that introduction. And to those who nominated me, I'm, I'm so honored. Hello, class of 2022, family and friends. Graduates, you look fabulous in your robes. Let me tell you about mine. I treasure this robe not because of its fine fabric or the sense of ceremonial purpose I feel each time I slip it on. Actually, if I'm being honest, there's always that little pulse of trepidation when I pull it from the recesses of my closet. Do I remember how to fasten the hood? No. How is it supposed to drape again? Shouldn't I already know these tacit rules? Sometimes the getup feels grander than the person wearing it. So my treasuring isn't about the cloth or about the status it confers. It's about what the robe symbolizes, at least to me. A gift from a stranger, an act of kindness, passed forward from an elder to an initiate. You see, this robe was once someone else's. Dr. Sylvia Vatuk, Professor Emerita, University of Illinois, Chicago, to be exact. In the spring of 2006, I defended my dissertation, and like any good anthropologist, I relished the chance to mark the upcoming rite of passage. I was definitely going to graduation. I looked into regalia and soon realized that I was going to have to rent, not buy, a cap and gown. But even that cost seemed steep. I really didn't want to ask my mom or my partner for the money. As graduation neared, I started to hesitate. Then, out of the blue, I got an email from one of my dissertation committee members. A friend of his, an alumna of Harvard's anthropology department, was retiring and wanted to pass down her robe to a graduating doctoral student. Not just any student, the person had to be short. <laughs> so I highly doubt that Dr. Vatuk specified height but the fact of the matter was the robe was for a person of relatively small stature. Needless to say, I fit the bill, and I could not believe my luck. I don't actually recall how it got to me, but I distinctly remember the awe I felt when I first unzipped the garment bag and beheld the gift. It was so beautiful, in such perfect condition. I'd never received anything quite like it, certainly not from a total stranger. So why do I tell you the story? Because I want you to consider the gifts you too have been given along the path to this moment, to this ceremony. The gift of your relative health. For all the things that this pandemic took away or denied you, you are among those who have survived it. Cherish that gift every day. And then give pause, make room, to remember those who did not. Then there's the gift of your education, that cloak of knowledge and skills that you now wear. Ask yourself, who among your family, your mentors, helped weave its cloth, stitch its steam seams, press its folds? Close your eyes and send them a silent thanks. In addition to gifts received, I want you to turn your mind to the future and imagine the gifts you yourself will give. What gifts of labor and love will you give to your community, however you define it, wherever and whenever it may arise? Let it be gifts that transform and lift up from little acts of kindness to bold strokes of action. 
What gifts will you give this fragile planet of ours? It needs your care. What gifts of compassion will you extend to strangers? Now this one might be the hardest to imagine, but to my mind, it's perhaps the most critical. We've spent the last two years contending with myriad forms of social isolation. We have some habits to overcome. May gifts of understanding and empathy help guide your path forward, making friends and allies out of the strangers you encounter. In the end, I treasure this robe not only for what it gave me, but also for what it promises of me. Someday, I will give it away. I'll reach out to my former department, and I'll ask whether there's another woman on the shorter side about to receive her doctorate. I have a gift to pass on. Knowing that day is somewhere on the horizon, each year after graduation, I carefully tuck this robe back into the garment bag, sometimes even entrusting it first to a dry cleaner for upkeep, because I know I'm just the temporary custodian. I don't know who will wear it after me, but I hope she too will treasure it, not only for its silken folds, but for the opportunity she also will have at the end of her career to pass it along to another stranger just starting out. You see, this gift, anthropologist, has a spirit within it, a spirit that will keep giving gifts of imagination, empathy, compassion, and hope. May your lives be full of gifts to and from strangers, class of 2022. And may the spirit of those gifts keep passing along, reminding us all that it is in the giving that we gain the most. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Wagner. Evangeline Joy Downey, Associate Dean for Research and Strategic Initiatives, will now present the Robert W. Kenny Prize for Innovation in Teaching of Introductory Courses and the Columbian Prize for Excellence in the Teaching and Mentoring of Advanced Undergraduate Students. Dean Downey. Robert W. Kenny served as Dean of the Columbian College and was particularly supportive as department chair and as Dean of Undergraduate Studies. He valued teaching, especially in introductory courses. When Dean Kenny retired, his colleagues honored him by endowing a prize to be awarded each year to faculty in the arts and sciences who've demonstrated an imaginative or innovative approach to teaching in an introductory or basic course. The faculty members are nominated by their students with the final selection chosen by the Undergraduate Studies Committee. This year's winner of the Robert W. Kenny Prize is Professor Sarah Matheson, Assistant Professor of History of Women and of Women's and Gender and Sexuality Studies. Professor Matheson, will you please join me? Where are you hiding? Professor Matheson is being honoured for her teaching of Introduction to Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies. Her approach to this course is truly exceptional in its ability to move students from studying and debating women's gender and sexuality concepts to applying them in a way that promotes social change. Professor Matheson's students called the class transformative because of its creative approach to assignments and collaborative atmosphere. One student noted, Professor Matheson created a class environment where everyone felt comfortable and safe to speak their mind and knew they would be respected. For innovation in the teaching of an introductory course, the college is pleased to present to Professor Sarah Matheson the Robert W. Kenny Prize for 2022. Congratulations. <laughs> The 
Columbian Prize for Teaching and Mentoring Advanced Undergraduate Students is awarded to a full-time faculty member in the Columbian College of Arts and Sciences who demonstrates excellence in the teaching and mentoring of advanced undergraduate students. This year's Columbian Prize goes to Professor Randy Gray Christensen, Assistant Professor of Writing. Professor Christensen has garnered immense respect for her dedication to students as a mentor to posse scholars in special interdisciplinary majors, students in writing and in Africana studies classrooms, and as a faculty in residence. As one GW student said about Professor Christensen, she enriched my work by challenging me with questions I did not have the answers to, and she encouraged me to take calculated risks. This is the greatest lesson that I have learned from her because it taught me to never settle and it has given me the confidence to reach my potential. Unfortunately, Professor Christensen is unable to join us today. Accepting the award on her behalf is Professor Gordon Mantler. Each spring, the CCAS faculty nominates a student who has excelled academically and has made significant contributions to GW and the wider community. This year's distinguished scholar is Philip Perel, a chemistry and biology major. During his time at GW, Philip has participated in important research and co-authored 13 publications, a remarkable achievement. <laughs> He has <laughs> He has served as an undergraduate research assistant in the Department of Chemistry where he created a learning environment that encouraged student participation. In the fall, Philip will matriculate to GW's medical school. Thank you, Dean Wiedner. Good afternoon, Provost Bracey, Dean Walbeck, esteemed leadership and staff of the Columbian College, parents, honored guests, friends, and graduates of the class of 2022. Before I begin, I just want to take the time to thank God, my friends, Professor Zismulich in the Department of Chemistry, my family, and especially my brother for always being there for me throughout my life. But most importantly, I'd also like to extend a big thank you to my Chegg subscription for bringing me this far in my educational career. In all seriousness, however, no words can truly capture the mix of emotions I feel when reflecting on our time together. We've come far these past four years, and it's no surprise that we face some of the more difficult challenges than any class before us. We spent two years, for example, at home and away from school, spending almost half of our undergraduate education online and separated from university because of a global pandemic. For another year, we faced a string of viral variants threatening to jeopardize our stay at school at almost every corner. Yet despite these challenges, what's unique about us as a class is that we've prevailed through every single obstacle placed before us. We endured the pandemic, and here we are today at the first in-person spring graduation since the age of coronavirus. We survived the COVID variants, and here we are today at an all-time low for the university positivity rates. Despite our success, however, our journey and the hurdles before us do not end here. As undergraduates, we faced a pandemic. As graduates, it'll be a wartime refugee crisis at our borders. As young adults, it'll be climate change and world hunger. But no matter the obstacle before us, I am confident that the safest hands are still our own. Because if our history and time together proves anything, it is that we, the class of 2022, 
are a powerhouse of perseverance and grit. There is no doubt in my mind that we will continue to push the boundaries of what is possible and continue to make the world a better place through our resilience. Now, I believe my time is coming to an end, but I'd like to close on one final additional remark before I leave you. If you take anything from this speech today, it's that no matter the promise that our futures hold, and no matter the magnitude of the issues that we solve tomorrow, never forget the community, standing, and family that this degree in education gave to you. But to explain what I mean by this, I need to tell you the story of how I first came to GW. To be honest, when I first came to campus, I was a bit nervous. I was scared that college would just be another survival of the fittest, and that GW would just be another competitive kettle that I'd have to survive for the next four years. So I tried to start college in what I thought was the best way to move forward, which was to direct my attention to only school and meet any rigor with equal fury and ferocity and focus on nothing else but my goals. Now, you can imagine that, at least academically, this was a highly successful strategy. <laughs> but in my heart and in my feelings, I knew that I was still missing something and that I was alone. But the people at GW, some of the very people sitting in this crowd, live streaming from their dorms, they changed me. I met my buddies, the OG Mitchell squad and Nerds 8, halfway through this first semester, and they taught me that although school is indeed important, having friends to keep you up at night to go monumenting or wake you up at 2 a.m. for a 7-Eleven Pop-Tart run is also an important part of growing up and coming of age. In my second semester, I met a faculty mentor, Dr. Nahal Mehta, who despite just meeting me in a brief interview, taught me the power you can have to change a young man's course of life in just one fleeting exchange, and he showed me a kindness without which I know I wouldn't be standing here today. As I continue to grow at GW, I learned that people like Dr. Mehta, my Mitchell squad, and Nerds 8, they're not anomalies. There's a reason why I found them only at GW. It's in our blood to help others, and that's what makes us unique as GW students. I know that a lot of people talk about an only at GW moment, but this pandemic, the shortness of our time together, all of this has really shown me that from the bottom of my heart, I'm glad I came to GW and found a home away from home. And to be honest, there's nothing else I could have asked for during my time as an undergraduate GW student. With that, I'm pretty sure my time is up. But before I leave, to the families that have supported us, the communities that have raised us, and the individuals that have guided us. Thank you. And with that, congratulations to the class of 22, and I can't wait to see what we will accomplish in the future. pleased to present you a certificate to honor your accomplishments as the distinguished scholar. <laughs> you. Graduates, as you enter your senior year, you worked on capstone papers and lab-based research projects. Some of you gave public performances, contributed to exhibitions, or gave speeches. You took exams, you wrote late into the night, or spent hours poring over data. You spent hours talking through complex philosophical arguments with each other, and you read poetry out loud. You engaged in the life of the city and region, participating in activism and community service, and engaging with local communities. In short, you participated in the intellectual life of the university, enriching the community with your experience and knowledge, and pushing the boundaries of our ideas and language. For these contributions, we salute you. A number of graduates have been selected to receive special awards, prizes, or honors. 
let me call your attention to the names of those awardees who are listed in, on the inside of your program. This year's Phi Beta Kappa inductees were honored at ceremonies earlier this week. The Luther Rice Fellows conducted undergraduate research, and many of our students participated in research for which they have gained lasting skills. At this time, we recognize all of the remarkable accomplishments and contributions of your graduates. Graduates, would you please rise and give yourself a cheer. <laughs> Please be seated. It is now our pleasure to introduce one by one the members of the 2022 graduating class who have reached this moment of celebration. Okay. Let me first begin with some instructions for our graduates and guests. Graduates, you have a card in your possession. Please hand the card with your name to the faculty member who will read your name. Graduates, you may choose to unmask briefly, right over there in front of the blue screen, for a professional photo. But then, please replace your mask as you cross the stage to greet Dean Walbeck. The Dean has noted that he is happy to, be, to greet each of you as you wish to be greeted. When you meet, simply stick out your hand, or stick out your elbow, or your fist, or take a short bow, or nod your head in cordial, cordial greeting. <laughs> well done. Graduates and guests, in order that none of the names of the honorees be lost, we ask that you withhold your applause until all the graduates have been presented, at which time we will join together in a loud salutation of all of them. Faculty line leaders, as Dean Walbeck takes his place in front of the podium, please step forward in turn to lead the graduates to the podium. You will be directed, thank you, by our folks in purple. Leading American Studies, leading American Studies, Professor Melanie McAllister. <laughs> Annabella D'Amico. Catherine von Schaumberg. Elizabeth Benson, Sherlyn Fraser, Fatma Nordin, Silana Lee, Hannah Delvecchio, Andrea Martinez. Paige Morse, Henry Ballas, Sydney Crum, Francis McPherson, Lauren Lafon, Oliver Kogod. Jessica Lobacaro, Diana Hidalgo, Joseph Marcus, and Chloe Nobilos. Nobilos. Introducing anthropology, Professor Alex Dent. Tremaya Clark.
Sarah Teresa Yokin. Gabriela Marroquin Calderon. Ruochen Wang. V. Dean Poliak. Alessandra Gukis. Denali Graham. Anissa Sterner. Inara Jamal. Surabi Batra. Brandon Wallace. Teresa Moore. Natalia Madrinan, Madrian. Friona Carmichael. Introducing archaeology, Eric Klein. Tara Jennings. Claire Maves. Drew Montgomery. Rafaela Corbo Odonez. Nicole Shabbat. Grace Schultz. Introducing Biological Anthropology, Bernard Wood. Catherine Harvison. Caitlin Betica. Veronica Kulik. Dharma Gonzalez Ferretti. Daniela Fortado. Catherine Gulasso. Daphne Mellis Ibar. Hannon Levy. Lillian Hernandez. Introducing Arabic studies, Mohsen SCC. Nathaniel Dutt. Avery Thompson. Benjamin Trapp. Camille Rogers. Introducing Biological Sciences and Neuroscience, Damien O'Halloran. Brooke Pellegrini. Emma Rooney. Pujan Neopane. Sofia Sanchez. Janki Patel. Tori Williams. Taylor Lee. Molly Brohan. Lydia Burnett. Aldonza Chavez. Moses Hinton. Zahra Wahid. Janet Key. Kaylee Sweeney. Kali Chaudari. Ramiz Emam. Sydney Luce. Lina Morris. Heather Merriman. Slow down. Nicole Elizabeth Melnick. Wayan Bugdor. Matt Lipson. Nikia Zarabian. Chidera Obiwoma. Julia Pope. Angelina Marin. Melissa Orquize so uh, Sanchez, uh, sorry, Sanchez, sorry. 
Alexandra Lorraine Lambert. Taylor Hun. Daniel Fadul. Paras Kumar. Chloe Shaw. Brett Allen. Sukriti Krishnan. Christine Peritano. Leanne Morse. Rose Cheney. Alyssa Stark. Allison Dale. Nora Cavanaugh. Datri Badri. Naomi Matsuno. Rohan Modi. Rithvik Chakuri. Nitya Kumar. Priyanka Bhutnagur. Guinevere Lisner. Liam Alexander Searcy. Arthur Druad. Brandon Garcia Fuentes. Jacqueline Landry Landy. Caitlin Slattery. Elsie Banzal. Ijendu Adeal Erokazi. Irdakazi, sorry. Jocelyn Marquez. Mireille Zweig. Noor Maria Bukwala. Parth Patel. Nicholas Ksikai. Kit Shaw. Alexandra Pentikis. Sophia Ivanov. Jusirat Saikni. Saini. Sarah Schmoyer. Maria Grusis. Olive Kozilian. Allison Cameron. Nicolette Paradis. Michael Farina. Natasha Kumar. Divya Ruth. Jothi Nignan Polakal. Mara Popal. Alisa Stathopoulos. Lucian Rosario Rodriguez. Alanov Ashik uh, Asheri. Emily Chi. Seth Lowy. Shannon Nicole Ubal Ubalde. Andre Barbosa. Suraj Kandoth. Suraj. Nicole McNabb. Carolina Stokey. Catherine Sheck. Ryan Navro. Farhana Alam. Anonya Jane. Kalia Lynch. Diana Yu Vu. Nina Bell. Natalie Edwards. 
Jessica Camacho. <laughs> Sofia De Pompo. <laughs> Sofia Kajowski. <laughs> Lindsay Heyer. <laughs> John Pelokin. <laughs> Andres Narvaez. <laughs> Miriam Losi. <laughs> Anshul Mugger, Madison Reed, <laughs> Melissa Romero, <laughs> Eunice Kim, <laughs> Yuadon Teddy, <laughs> Nya Kam Campbell, <laughs> Naya Campbell. <laughs> Z sorry, Nabia Zavia Fields, <laughs> Naja Wilson. Okay, Amari, sorry, special Amari Melikons. <laughs> Introducing chemistry, Professor Claire Benson. Besson, Natalia Seron Para, Jackie Ong, Jetton Kapani, Scott Schultz, Richik Chakrabarti, Clara Siko. Erin Gladu, Anna Olivia Serjak, Philip Peril. Introducing classical and ancient Near Eastern studies, Professor Chris Rolston, Sydney Haggerty, Shadow Curley. Carolyn DeSaro, Gabriel Centurine, Sydney Parkin, Rachel Fryer Dummel, Emily Tain, Hayden Smith. Introducing art history, Alexander Dorbadzia. Jessica Pika, Anne Juno, Taylor My Left Chick, Adriana Marbella Vergara, Catherine Gilly, Piper Forstoltz, Forstol, Ariana Hefner. Olivia Newman, Nyman, Trevor Hefner, Isabella Schuster, Molly D Dowood Risk, Carolyn Grace Mullen. Introducing the BFA in graphic design, Shivan Rigg. Devin Ott, Kate Winchell, Devin Healy, Krista Marino, Amy Alvino, Mina Hong, Jessica Padilla. Introducing what is this? Interaction Design, Professor Kevin Patton. Linz Weiss, Lindsay Weiss. Iman Ibrahim. Want to switch? Yeah. Introducing Interior Architecture, Professor Scott Jones. 
Ariani Siwadi. Yerinel Caceres. Nadine Ahmed. Melika Cesar. Ching Duan Ellen Ye. Fatumata So. Kara Richards. Anna Comstock. Lily Katz. Emma Zeal. Alexandra Caballero. Todd Neblet. Mary Joyce Baker. Oh. Kimberly Ortega. Maria Sab Casabe Navarro. Nicoletta Maeto. Yes. Introducing the music program in the Corcoran School of the Arts and Design, Dr. Robert Baker. Savannah Hanley. Nina Eileen Feliciano. Laya Reddy. Christopher Pino. Callie Ross. Introducing photojournalism, fine arts, Professor Matt Ike. Maeve Karen. Bess Daniel. Mary Carmen Solis Diaz. Olivia Henderson. Amy Poliero. Olivia Herdman. James Dingman. Zenya Leper. Israel Delgado. Sarah Dunn. Riley Cornwall. Phoebe Grocer. Gabrielle Doria Rhodes. Camille DeSanto. Sydney Walsh. Shereen Ragheb. Megan Tomasi. Sabrina Godin. Mansi Srivastava. Mira Siri. Introducing Professor Carl Godinius, theater, dance from the Corcoran School. Natalie Parks. Maggie Walsh. Alexander Rinaldi. Harrison Kidd. Daria Malak Moti. Bree Houtman. Hollywood. Professor Miao Chun Wei, East Asian Languages and Literatures. Katie Yarber. Xing Lang Tung. 
Sorry. Eva White. <laughs> Xing Long Tung. <laughs> Professor Brendan Morley, East Asian Languages and Literatures. Henry Park. <laughs> Emmanuel Kim, East Asian Languages and Literatures. Lauren Diof. Kayla Harris. Stephanie Lee. Professor Lisa Page, representing Creative Writing and English. Madeline Kalmowitz. Marina De Lara. Kendall Lambert. Colin Pickett. James Smathers. Ben Scammell. Kyler Rasmussen. Professor Maria Frawley, representing English. Montana Nelson. Keaton Coleman. Roni Edney. Elizabeth Wren. Jenica Ogaus. Margarita Cruz Rivera. Kaylee Ann Teasley. Laurel Broughton. Haley Lanford. Anna Wolin. Morgan Atherton. Madeline Glacken, Scott Higgins, Jay Jones, Paloma Suarez Biglieri, Lauren Yi, Professor David Rain, representing geography. Sam Gummel Kiwis. Lauren Babinitz. Brian Sachs. Victoria Rubinetti. McKenna Cowan. Lauren Favor. Christina Trujillo. <laughs> Professor Dmitry Stratelsky, Environmental Science and Environmental and Sustainability Sciences. Erin Jean O'Rourke. Gabriella Bond. Alicia Harris. Ellen Nierenblatt. Charles Abrams. Jenna Gaglione. Mickey Greenberg. Grace Ainsley. Leah Rassome. Kelsey Bartlett, Jane Barkholes, Nancy Hamlin Ryan, Maeve Deems, Alden Dumas, Brianna Reynolds, 
Zachary Lesniakowski. Andrew Weissman. Tara Viswanathi. Myla Ash. Allison Abrams. Rhea Sward. Caitlin West. Professor Tom Long representing history. Collins Simpson. Camilo Dewar. Alexa Fierro. Colin Stackpole. James Hufner. Emma Grace Souter. Dana Adams. Rebecca Cantor. Grace Hogan. Emily Irvine. Christina Peetler. Leah Rodewald. Ella Rauer. Lucy Horowitz. Anna Jett. Katie Ronkin. Isabel Carney. Wyatt Kirshner. Elena Schumann. Sophia Gray. Jose Manuel Tello. Laura Isabel Mendez Lopez. Joseph Chambliss. Erica McDonald. Catherine Davis. Isabella Henderson. Justin McCulloch. Victoria Kennedy. Ben Grubelski. Derek Lowe. Ethan Singh. Jake Halderman. Kylie Prouser. Amanda Newberg. Brett Martin. Aubrey Kolb. Eva Tracy. Sonali Prillman. Megan Burns. Grace Trailer. Ryan O'Byrne. Evan Rothkoff. Raina Hackett. Shreya Arun Ake. Catherine Andrews. Catherine Sullivan. Thomas Owens. Mark Thomas Patterson. Professor Jay Daigle introducing mathematics. Rosmia Fatah. Avani Gandhi. Sarah Ray Seal. Daniel Shackleton. 
Haley Billamoria. Jack Mitzelsey, Mitzeltree. Jian Yi Shu. Introducing Professor Yisheri, uh, Yisheng Peng, Organizational Sciences. Jack Teitelbaum. Eleni Pasaltes. Simon Caden. Catherine Fernberg. Juliana Bray. Reagan Cadeau. Cadeau. Natalia Tekka. Camilla Mesa. Rachel Corbin. Margot Goddard. Elena Skidmore. Jack Rusher. Thomas Kindle. Zachary Brewer. Asa Diaby. Patricia A. Diaz Gallano. Jacob Henschel. Oh. Tyler Andrew Lackey. Can you tell me tell me your name. Tell me your name. Asa Diaby. Lara Dogan. Winnie Kennedy Losek Lakuli. Athena Hostali. Hostelet. Adam Golden. Aliyah Chatani. Taylor Gorgistani. Introducing Professor Clay Warren, Communication. Lucy Leonard. Emily Benack. Julia Gerlitz. Grace Varela. Anna Connolly. Tirza Budiman. Inke Lee. Yushuan Siong. Camilla Dominguez Imbert. Alexandra Foslich. Lexiana Pellegrini. Mia Schlitt. Anastasia Papatanui. Lauren Reichwald. Isabel Chigog. Lauren Dirk Dirk Ack. Jonathan Choef. Jessica Talamo. Madison Charity. Kira Henry. Olivia Weiner. JC Case. Greer Blunt. Rumi Robinson. Samantha Naiman. Madison Coyne. Sophia Hardesty Matier. 
Professor Todowski, representing philosophy and public affairs. Eliza Wisner. Matthew Lopez. Adam Masatenta. Lizzie Cepeda. Charlie Knopft. Autumn Hendershot. Shockey Darwish. David Davidoff. Bruna Paiva Oliveira. <laughs> Professor Gary White, Physics, Biophysics, Astronomy, and Astrophysics. Marissa Lazarus. <laughs> Davy Luria. <laughs> Daniel Allen. <laughs> Anika Schwid. Kaden Gobat. Professor Derek Malone France, representing Peace Studies. Camila Ruida Torres. Oliver Peacock. Carmela Saya. Ngayan Nguyen. Diana Rodriguez. <laughs> Timothy Biodo. <laughs> Olympia Victor. <laughs> Professor Kelly Pemberton, representing religion. <laughs> Yasmin Malecki. <laughs> Kate Twomey. Ricardo Flores. <laughs> Kathleen Kunkel. <laughs> Abby Page. <laughs> Professor Masha Belenki, representing Romance, German, and Slavic languages and literatures. <laughs> Natalie Dow. Natanya Jones Mitchell. Diamond Rivon Hendricks. Angela Yongu. Celine Alon. Simon Salibi. Madison Williams. Bjorn Corning. <laughs> Professor Jennifer Rosen, representing special interdisciplinary majors. Quinn Sargent. <laughs> Professor Nicole Jordan, representing speech, language, and hearing sciences. Luca Kavan. <laughs> Phoebe Jang. Sophia Chan. Eva Kersley. Priya McNeil. Nade Fatu Dia. Cassandra Florellis. Cameron Hatcher. <laughs> Ilili Tola. Emily Jorgensen. Emilia Gorecki. <laughs> Isabel Mafwa. 
Molly Knoll. Matthew Portnoy. Kevin Ryle. Natalie Shaw. Professor Joshua Landon representing the Department of Statistics. Lu Yao Gao. Sean McCunney. James Neal. <laughs> Professor Ashwini Tambe representing Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies. Emma Wasserman. Allison Torres. Luella Geneve Lobatun. Michelle Wisniewski. Anisha Sani. Raushni Rung Aswami. Sophia Gonzalez. Hannah Rachel Lewis. Professor Lauren Phillips, representing General Studies. Zara Escobar. Anika Hoagie. Tony Jackson. Taylor Maxson. Isabel Duarte. <laughs> Eleanor DeLiva. <laughs> Onye Mouchette. <laughs> Ehechika Reggae May. Mu Niko Nyade. Jock Duguay. Yeah. Alexander Kirk. Congratulations to all. It is now my pleasure to call upon the Dean of the Columbian, School of Art, Columbian College of Arts and Sciences, Paul Walbeck, to deliver his charge to the graduating class. As the leader of the university's largest academic unit, Dean Walbeck is committed to expanding learning and research opportunities at to ensure excellence and opportunities for all our students. Dean Walbeck, I am pleased to present to you the Columbian College of Arts and Sciences Class of 2022.
Hello, graduates. Sounds good, doesn't it? Graduates. It is so nice to be here. The last time I stood on this stage looking out at a sea of faces decked out in graduation regalia was three long years ago, which is hard to believe. I know I speak for all of my colleagues in saying that we've missed this special opportunity to formally recognize and celebrate your incredible achievement as a graduate of this university. Your resilience in the face of difficulty, your adaptability to new ways of learning, and your dogged determination to get where you sit today makes your achievement all the more noteworthy. I congratulate each and every one of you on a job well done. Congratulations, class of 2022. As I was preparing my speech, I was thinking about the uniqueness of your educational journey. Your time at GW has been marked by distinct and tumultuous experiences that will reverberate for decades to come. They include a bitterly contested and divisive presidential election, the tragic ramifications of embedded racial injustice, and perhaps most significantly, a global health pandemic that has resulted in hundreds of thousands of deaths and transformed how we live our lives. Similar to the generations that came of age around 9-11, the Kennedy and King assassinations, the Great Depression and World War II, these experiences will define and shape your generation. You have come into adulthood fully understanding the fragility of the human experience and the keen awareness that your day-to-day -day routines and the people who inhabit them cannot and should not be taken for granted. That's quite a life lesson, and one that many of us don't learn until we're much older and seemingly wiser. So the question is, what do you do with this understanding? How will this shape your life, your aspirations, your ambitions? How will you take what you've learned and experienced and make a meaningful difference in your communities and the world beyond? The pandemic will be viewed as a transformational moment in our history, one that has made us all stop, pause, and reflect on what is required of each of us. We've been asked to think beyond ourselves, to be more compassionate, caring, and cognizant of what's going on in our communities. At GW, we've had to reimagine the way we educate, collaborate, and innovate. This hasn't been easy, but we did it. And I believe we're better and stronger for what we've experienced and for all that we have learned. I commend your efforts and the efforts of those who have supported you in this ongoing journey, many of whom are in this auditorium today. They include your family, who have guided and nurtured you, your faculty mentors, who have sparked your passion to learn and your ability to create new knowledge, your advisors who have helped you navigate the decision-making process and open doors to new opportunities. And of course, your friends who will be an invaluable support network throughout your life. Now it's your turn to take all that you've been given and all that you've experienced both in and out of the classroom and create positive change. When I look out at you today, I see amazing potential looking back at me. I see movers and shakers, problem solvers and policy makers, artists and innovators. I see smart, talented young people who have overcome unprecedented challenges and are now ready to soar. I was recently scanning the words of the alma mater that we sing together every year at the end of these celebrations. In that song, there's a phrase that reads, knowledge thy closest friend, in its strength abiding. I believe those words say it all. If used wisely, the power of knowledge can be transformative and life-changing. Your expertise, your empathy, your ability to think critically, to make evidence-based decisions, to analyze and reflect, to value diverse cross-cultural perspectives, these are the skills you should not leave behind you as you walk out these doors. 
Knowledge is your strength and should inform everything you do. The pursuit of it is a lifelong journey that doesn't end with graduation. And we need your knowledge now more than ever. You have the capacity to foster honest conversations that bridge our divides, address deeply embedded biases, and create new opportunities. You recognize the pressing need for a thoughtful and open exchange of ideas and information, for positive engagement, constructive collaboration, and principal decision-making. Your education in the arts and sciences has led you to appreciate the integration of humanistic and scientific approaches to arrive at creative solutions that draw from rich and vast array of knowledge. You came to GW because you're driven, socially conscious, demanding, and entrepreneurial, and you graduate ready to become our future lawyers and politicians, educators and scientists, social workers, communicators, and artists. And while you're graduating into a world that is rife with conflict and complexity, it's also one that is continually evolving and ripe for change. This is your time to be thoughtful, be informed, probe, ask questions, and allow your moral compass to lead you to an honest, engaged, and meaningful life. And don't gauge your success by the things you accumulate or how high you climb the career ladder, but by the quality of your life and how, through small kindnesses or even grand gestures, you are moving our global society forward. This weekend marks an endpoint, but in so many ways, it also symbolizes a new beginning, a commencement, if you will. The commencement ceremony, with all its traditions and pageantry, is emblematic of the passing of knowledge from one generation to the next. It is a proud moment for all of us, and one you will remember forever. And although you're leaving us today, your home at Columbian College will always be here for you. We want to see you back on campus and hope you'll stay connected with the GW family. Your faculty are here to support you whenever you need us. On my earlier list of things that people from this group will be part of is healers and, and the medical professionals, so go for it. Thank you. And I'm to my last paragraph, as it turns out. So in conclusion, <laughs> class of 2022 graduates, I wish you all the best. We're cheering you on today. We'll be cheering you on at commencement tomorrow. Please let everyone on the mall know that you are there, the Columbian College graduates. Blow the roof off at the commencement. So we will be there cheering you on, not just tomorrow, but in the weeks, months, and years to come. Congratulations. Thank you, Dean Walbeck. Thank you, graduates. Graduates, please remember to wear your Columbian College Medal tomorrow at the National Mall. And when you are introduced by Dean and recognized by Dean Walbeck, I trust you will let everyone in Washington, D.C. very loudly know that you are present. <laughs> A sincere note of thanks to those who make and make, to, make today special for all of our graduates, including the staff in the CCS Advising Office and the Smith Center, and especially Professors Kajakawa O and Osman for the marvelous job of introducing our graduates. Guests, as you leave the building, please be mindful of your safety and of that of your party. 
you will be exiting onto a busy street full of city traffic. Rather than lingering for photos and greetings nearby, we recommend that you move to the open space in Kogan Plaza or to the steps of Funger Hall. To close our program, we ask that everyone join in the singing of the alma mater, led by our graduating seniors, Chris Pino, Nina Feliciano, Natalie Parks, Layla Reddy, and Savannah Hanley, accompanied by Robert Baker, Associate Professor of Music. You will find the words and music at the end of your program. Immediately after this year's, the, after the singing, this year's distinguished scholar, Philip Perel, will come forward and accept the school pennant from Dean Walbeck. Following this symbolic act, signifying the conveyance of knowledge from one generation to the next, Philip will lead the platform party and the faculty from the arena. Guests, we appreciate your kindness in remaining in place until the conclusion of the program and the dean's party and the faculty and graduates have left the arena. Graduates, you will be prompted to exit. Singers, will you please approach the podium? Would you now all please rise for the singing of the alma mater?